this uh, video is on smart art. <clears throat> now, infographics are becoming very, very popular, and you can easily use smart art to create a great infographic. I'm a huge fan of this feature. Um, it, it was really, really good in PowerPoint, and now it's also really, really good in Word. So, right from Word, you can create your own smart art. So, I just went to insert here, I hit smart art. This is these are the choices. Let me just explain these choices briefly to you. Uh, list, right? Everything that's in list. These are diagrams that visually represent lists of related or independent information. For example, a list of items needed to complete a task, including pictures of the item if you want. Process. These diagrams visually describe the order uh, uh, set of steps required to complete a task. Right? So there's an order involved in process. Right? Cycle. These diagrams represent a circular sequence of steps or events uh, or the relationships of a set of steps, tasks, or events. Central core, for example, the looping process for continually improving product based on customer feedback. So you need to determine what it is you're trying to do and which one of these would work best. Hierarchies, these illustrate the structure of an organization or an entity. For example, top level management structure of a company. Relationships, a little bit more complex. These diagrams show convergent, divergent, overlapping, merging, or containment elements. For example, how similar methods to organize your email, calendar, contacts can improve your productivity. Matrix, these diagrams show the relationship of components to a whole. For example, the product teams in a department. Uh, pyramid, very similar to hierarchy, I think, pyramids. Uh, these diagrams illustrate proportional or interconnected relationships. For example, the amount of time that should be ideally spent on different phases of a project. Uh, there's the pyramid of learning. Um, uh, anyway, all kinds that you can use. I really, really like the picture ones because these, you can tell a story and you can have visual representations as well. I'll try to demonstrate uh, some of these. So you just simply choose the one that you want and you go with it. So within picture, there's a lot of them that you can choose from. And uh, I'm just going to choose this one or maybe even this one just, just for the heck of it. Now... It gives you a, a, de a determined number. If you want more, you simply go to the last one and you can add a shape here, right? So add a shape and now you got four. And you notice how it adjusted automatically. You can size these things as well. If you size the whole thing, everything inside it gets bigger as well. So I'm just sizing from here. And if you can keep adding shapes if you want. Now some of them, they all have a limit. So you'll, you'll find out what the limit is and they're all just a little bit different. And you can, um, all right, a few more things coming. I just want to show you right now. This is a chapter that I need to teach. And I summarized the chapter with a group. Okay, there's more than one smart art. There's one here. So this is one style that has words and allows you to take a picture. So these pictures I got from the internet and I saved and I was able to insert them here and then put the words here. So a picture's worth a thousand words. So that works really nice. Here's another style here where you have the title here. Actually, I put in the titles myself. Most of these don't have titles. So I used, um, I simply used word art for the titles. And then these are the smart arts, right? So this is a style here. This is a style here. This is a different style here, all right? And again, this one had pictures and words. This is another one. Again, um, that was just a title, but this is what the smart art looked like pictures and words, and more pictures and words. So those are some really neat examples of smart art. And if you wanted to create your own, I've just, I like the color schemes that you can choose from very quickly and easily make this look sharp without having even done anything. This already looks pretty good. If you don't like the style you chose, you can change on the fly, even after you've typed text if you want to. And you've got different styles to choose from. Some of them look really good. Some of them, not so much. I'm not a big fan of these, but I've seen people use them and they made a good job of them. So you determine which style you want. And then you, you simply start telling your story. Now these expect you to put in a picture. And you would load pictures that you have saved somewhere. Now, I don't want this lesson to go on. I gave you a good example of what they look like. So I'm just going to close this as soon as I can here. So as to not waste any time, it ends up looking like this, right? And then you would type the information in here. 
So whatever information you need in text, you would type. So I would come in here and I would type uh, text one, right? And then I can type in here, text two. Probably easier to type in this area here, text two and so on. So I clicked in the wrong one. I'm a little messed up here. I missed one. So this would be text two. That one would be three. And you, many, many options as far as what you can and can't do. Uh, you can move them up or down this way. If you want to change the order, if you want the pictures on the other side, that's what this right to left is. Very neat, very easy to do. I want to move this back up, of course, and move this one up. Very user friendly, quite intuitive, actually. If you wanted to delete one, uh, backspace seems to work very nicely right from there. And you see how everything adjusted and sized automatically. You have the ability to change the size of the font if you wanted to. If you didn't like the font that was in here, you would simply select it and change the font. Most of your options are right here on this toolbar, but then you've also got a formatting toolbar that allows you to change the formatting of many things. I don't believe that the, um, the, the test at this level is going to go very deep with this. I might have actually gone a, a little bit deeper than they do, uh, but just understand that you have many to choose from. Some of them have pictures, some of them don't. So understand that they may ask for a certain style and you need to know, you need to be able to find whatever it is they're looking for. Whether it's a list, a process, right? You know the menu. You don't need to memorize the menu. You know where to find it. So once again, here are some examples and what they look like. The um, Just so you know, the reason I did this in, in PowerPoint is um, you can animate anything and everything in PowerPoint. So I run this as an actual presentation. So every little, the title comes in and then the first one and then the second one. So I actually use this entire thing to teach, but that's probably a little bit, no, not really. If you wanted to do a presentation uh, in PowerPoint and rather than go good old PowerPoint, one slide after another slide after another slide, this is a massive uh, 18 by 20, I think, sheet. So it's really, really big. But the, the idea is, I'm running a, a, pro a presentation and I'm giving information in a totally different way. So here I'm able to bring in my smart art and I'm just clicking to bring in new stuff. Very cool. Really happy with the way that turned out. So there it is, smart art.